See me take a drink? Just off your resting oxygen. You're yelling at the wrong person. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head under lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. I came into this country in 1986 from the Netherlands, with English being my second language. I decided I wanted a career with law enforcement. I became a citizen and tested to become a commission officer. Uh, for the last five years now, I've been a supervisor in booking, where it's very dynamic, and I love every minute of it. Uh, we have a code five that arrived, uh, which means that he's either fighting or just not cooperating with the process, so I'm gonna talk to him. See what we have. Well, he looks all right. Hi guys, what we got? So uh, this gentleman, uh, we got pulled over, flagged down by a citizen, saying that uh, he was drinking, or he was driving all crazy, going in out of lanes. So we pulled him over, had him stepped out of the vehicle, reeks of alcohol. He's stumbling a little bit. Doesn't started, want to yeah, do any arrest. Doesn't want to do anything. Now he's saying he's not going to do it or blood draw or anything yeah. like that. So. so he's DUI. DUI, yeah. yeah, he failed the test. Okay. How are you, sir? Are you going to talk to me, sir? I want to talk to a supervisor. I am a supervisor. See? I got stripes right there. I did not fail the field sobriety test. OK. OK? Maybe my mouth got me here, and I understand that. OK. I did not fail the field sobriety test. OK. You are here now. I can't change that. So listen to the officers. I, I mean no harm. OK. I mean no problem to no one. OK, he's going to walk in. He's just very, he's upset. I'm obviously. upset. Yes, sir. Yes. No. All right, listen to the officers, OK? They're going to unhook you and everything. OK. Thank you, sir. I want a legitimate test. Yes, sir. OK, we'll do a test inside, all right? Hi, sir. Hi. We're going to see what we can do about getting you a legitimate test. I like nice people. That's what I am. I'm officer. Right through here, sir. I got to feel like a criminal. This is horrible. Gosh, the right. And right here's right. Sit a watch. You got anything left in your pockets? No, now? I don't. Anything know. sharp? Life's not too sharp. Not then. I don't. Your sergeant, yes, sir. Okay. I'm wearing a watch uh -huh. worth take more than most people's oh, we cars. We will take care of it very well, sir. Okay. I've had situations okay. where my stuff has been damaged yeah. or okay. disappeared. That's definitely a watch that I will remember. Well, it's it's going to go on your property, sir. It's going on right there. And you will sign for it, okay? But, but I, I want to know that you know. I know. I see. That I'm, he just I'm... threw my, my $30,000 watch in the bag. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't understand? Because you think the system is so beautiful that you think I'm going to get my watch looking like, like it is. Nobody I'm trying wants, to tell you that I've been here before. Sure. And I did not receive my my property. Okay, well, I'll make sure you sign for it. I got arrested for suspected DUI. I didn't get arrested for killing anybody. Blood draw. Sergeant. Yes, sir. May I say something? Is she done with you? Can I talk to the sergeant? Yes, I'm right here. She's right there. Look. Talk. Sergeant. Not yell. You need to, you need to, yes. You're right, you're right, you're right. I'm saying, sergeant, I have a 30 carat watch that you just took off. Yes, sir. And I'm afraid. I'm terrified that when I leave this place, I want to know that it's going to be there when I leave. What's the brand name so we have it on camera? What's Benny and Company. And it's 30 carats. Wow. And it's full of diamonds. That's impressive. It's because, yeah, it is impressive because I own my own business. That's awesome. Okay? And I'm a sole proprietor. Officer McArthur. Sir, sir, yes. sir. Sir. Yes. Calm down. Sir, I'm you, not angry. You are angry, sir. No, he's belittling me. No, I'm not. Yes, he is. I simply sir. complimented your watch. Sir. Thank now you. relax. Sir, listen to me. I'm in the room that handles your property. When you come in with that, when you come in, as long as you cooperate with this process, you're going to see everything that we inventory. What about our still what forming part? What to a breathalyzer? Yeah, keep your arm for me still oh part. my okay. God, I, I hate needles. Look this okay. way. Yeah, Look somebody, this way. please, like, please, somebody. Don't break my fingers, no, 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 no. Listen to me. Don't break my fingers, though, okay? I don't like needles. Oh, come on. Don't break my I'm fingers. I'm not going to squeeze your fingers. Don't break my fingers. Here, squeeze this pad. 
Look right here. Look this way. Look the other way. Look the other way. Look the other way, man. Come on. Your hands. Oh, do it. Your hands. Oh, your hands. Oh, please, please. please relax, oh. man. Easy. Look the other way. It's okay. Oh. Time. Deep breath. 21. Yeah, Almost it. done. All those tattoos you got? Come on. I know. That's, no, that's what my best friend told me. He's like, you, this is easy compared to those. son of a gun. He's like, he's like, you can't even take a, a, a blood test and you got all those tats. I'm like, uh. what will be done? The tats take hours. Hey, it's good to know you don't like needles because obviously I you're not a, an not addict then, right? Huh? By the way, I love you guys. And I'm Thank sorry. You. I'm sorry for tonight. But you know what? I'm confident it's good for you, of this sir. test. All right. you're, you're doing good. Lose sharps. Lose sharps. Ah. Good sharps. Ah. Good job, sharps. Thank you. Good. Right, you got it. Right. Thank you. All right. Sharps. Thank down. you, Mr. Nimi. All right, good. That was. We appreciate your cooperation, sir. First secret. All right, Sergeant. Sergeant, please. I'm gonna come with you. We're gonna come to. Please, please. come on. Let's go. Let's go walk around. Let's go. 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 Let's go
Put another one on. Good. I'll bite your noses and your faces and your fingers good. and your hands. Get right. the I away from me. Immediately. Hit me. Yes. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. I'm gonna kill you and bite you to death and eat you food. Hit me, because as soon as you do, you'll diminish into fire, ashes, and water. Can you just calm down? No! A little bit? Well, I don't want to talk to you. All right, we're going to have to get blood from you, okay? Take I... all the blood you want. Just do me a favor. Get out of my face, ugly son of a bitch. Officer Roth, how did we end up in this situation? I was put on the call as a drunk driver. The subject was inside the vehicle, drinking a beer and smoking a cigarette. I asked her to get out a couple times uh, nicely. She wouldn't respond to me, so I uh, tried to get out of the car. She started to fight with me, took her cigarette and burnt me in the hand several times. And then uh, we placed her into custody, and uh, we uh, brought her down. Wait until I get free to bang you to death. Mimi is so out of control that she is a danger to herself. And we want to make sure that she's secure, that she doesn't hurt herself. So we'll take her to this holding area until she calms down. And we can assess the situation and have a psychologist assess it as well. I'm not going to hit you. Clear. OK, everybody. We're going to keep Mimi in the restraint chair for her own safety. When she finally gets it together, we will attempt to take her out of the restraint chair and move forward from there. Oh, we've got a code 5 female. Uh, there's no information at this point. I'll get a briefing from the patrol officer, and then uh, we'll go from there. Any first aid? Nothing. She okay. is basically drunk, and uh, she's just um, and apparently female here was uh, very drunk, uh, yelling at customers. I couldn't identify her. I couldn't really, really write her a citation, so brought her uh, in. We have a name of Lisa. Lisa. Yeah. How you doing? I'm OK. All right. Cool, but I didn't do nothing, you know that, right? I want to know my charge. Okay, I'm gonna give you one shot to walk in. Okay, uh, we'll give it a shot. Lisa, put your head down. I mean, I don't want to turn it down. We'll get your shoes. Sure, her shoes are still in the car. Where were you arrested? Outside the just sitting there doing nothing. Lisa. You don't even tell me my charge. You think you're funny? Lisa, have you just been drinking? I didn't do nothing. I didn't even take a drink. He's a liar. You just told me you were. No, but he he never seen me take a drink. Have you? Did you? Have you taken any? Did you see me take a drink? That's not the arresting officer, Lisa. Oh, Lisa. You're yelling at the wrong person, Lisa. <laughs> okay, come on with me. Let's go. Come on. Lisa, I'm starting to get pissed. Lisa, Lisa hang on, hang on. stop. Walk with me, Lisa. Lisa, look, focus on me. You're doing okay, all right? Okay, you're gonna make it. You're doing all right. When? Lisa, Lisa, stop. Come on, you're doing really good, Lisa. Come you're on. doing good. We're, we're almost gonna have, Actually, we're gonna have one of our psych services come talk to you. Lisa, sit down. Okay, come on. Good job. All right, Good take job, a nap, Lisa. Lisa. Relax for me and take a seat. Oh, Just rest. Ladies, I want this place cleaned up before you leave, too. You never know what they're going to be like when they walk in. So you guys talked it down really good, and I appreciate that. I think she's going to take a nap now. Heading up to 2C now to check on Mimi. It's been several hours since we brought her up there. Maybe we can get her moving through the process. Hi, Mimi. Well, it is certainly much better to see you moving along now. There was some insinuation that you might have had a little physical altercation with Mom. You know, I'm done with her. I'm done with her. I'm not, yeah. She can have it all. That's it. All right. Well, good luck to you. Thanks. Keep Keep stay focused forward, all right? All right. OK, we'll see you. Quite a few hours, what can change in a person over several hours. Uh, with some good counseling, she might be able to find her way out of this mess she's gotten herself into.
got a call to Code 5 female. Uh, we really have no information yet, so we're going to go out here and make contact and uh, see what we got. Okay. Do you have the uh, perpetrator's name? Comes back as Maria. Yeah. We have a spitter. All right. Okay, okay Maria. I'm sorry, what is your name then? My name is Antonia. Antonia. I just got off work and five males attacked me. Attacked you. Where did the spitting come in at? Where does the part where I get physically assaulted by five oh, and excuse my language? Wait a minute, yeah. wait a minute. We're not having any of that. And this idiot puts me in handcuffs. Okay. Antonia, yeah. let's get you through this, okay? I don't want to be here. I understand that. I have that. two disabled kids. I understand that, so that's yes. why it's you important to you if, and your kids that you're good. Okay, I'm going to give you I'm gonna give yeah. you a chance, all right? You got my okay, word. Okay, all right. Are you going to be you? I'm going to be right here with okay. you, Sergeant Sitzik, the okay. two of us, all right? Okay, help me. Antonia. All right, Antonia. Antonia, I need to sit you right here because I need to take your shoes off. Okay, so right all right. I was attacked in the hall in the elevator at Dre's by five guys. That sounds pretty terrifying to me. What, what were you doing in Dre's at the time? Yeah, a new I have dance no club that yes, just sir. opened. Because I just ha I have Larry two Flett. disabled kids and I have no money. All right. So I have to go be a stripper to feed my kids. Okay. Well, we're gonna walk inside. Let's go. Okay. I'm not racist. Well, we were on a previous call at Bill's Casino. She came out of the elevator, approached security, and just started yelling and making racial slurs. As I walked up to her, she kicked me in the crotch, spit on myself and two uh, security officers. Which, of course, in the state of Nevada is a felony. Yeah, make sure you take record of this. She had prescriptions on her that didn't belong to her, which is also a felony. Yeah, she really escalated that. Wow, what a foul mouth on her. No, I got attacked did by you, five you, Negroes. You don't have to over talk to me, okay? Did I'm not ta over talking to you. I'm ta over talking to that idiot. Were you treated by yeah, paramedics? Yeah, I was put in handcuffs. Were you treated by paramedics no. or the fire department? No. And you were not seeing it in no. the ER? Yeah, I, I had medically cleared. cleared. Okay. Thank you. Have a seat. This is not fair. Just sit down and relax, okay? The main thing is, you can make some phone calls if you need to. I don't have any and phone calls. I don't really have anybody. My father's right, dead. Okay. He died and killed himself. My mother's a piece of I don't have anybody. Sergeant Zizek, let's talk for a minute. Okay. Let's talk for a minute. Stay, stay Officer Brackman, would you stay in there with her right now? I'm not feeling real secure about her alone in this room right now. This is not, this is not good. She's too agitated. I'm not racist at all, but they attacked me and they punched me in my head. We'll, we'll get Rachel's second assessment. Then. I have two disabled kids, and here I am sitting in jail. You were arrested. There were definite. Antonia, Antonia, you're Antonio, you're listen, no, you're it says that I'm a girl. My name's Antonia. And we brought you back here because you let it be known to us that you didn't want to be around other people. Yeah. Okay, so yes. this is why we are leaving yes, you here. Yes, ma'am. You're not going to hurt yourself. No, you're going to be fine. Okay, yes, we are going to exit the room yes, now. Let's go, guys. I would like to know what I'm being arrested. And you are going to find out. You will find out shortly. Where are my charges? that Antonia, let her know her charges, and uh, let's see what condition she's in at this point, and then we'll take it from there. All right. Go ahead and have a seat, Antonia. All right. Have a seat. All right. As promised, I found out what you're charged with, right? Yes, ma'am. So I'm letting you know right now that the officer gave you a huge break. Because you could have been charged with three felonies of spitting, but the thing is, he's not charging you with that. What you're being charged with today is possession of dangerous drugs without your prescriptions. They have to stay in those prescription bottles. I try not to take so and many don't with mix. Me at work. You're not supposed to mix yeah, your yeah. pills. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, I know. At when work, you go out, like they want to make sure that it's prescribed, and you're like right. So when you go out anywhere, you're supposed to take those bottles right. with you. 
So you were given a very big break compared to what I'm could have been. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to be. Listen, you're doing good. We appreciate that. So just continue on that path, and uh, uh, you'll be out of here expeditiously. Okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. She's calmed down a lot. She has calmed down a lot. Yeah, I, don't I certainly feel better about the situation. Yeah. All right. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Officer Brock. You're welcome. You're welcome. Vegas to visit. They're coming from small towns, big towns. They come from everywhere. They come to Vegas and they sometimes get overwhelmed and love the way that it is here. So they're drinking and getting out of control and then they end up here. And to them, their world's falling apart. I try to get them through the process as much as I can and try to help them stay calm, but hopefully that it doesn't ruin their opinion of how Vegas is. Thank you. Over here, ma'am. Go ahead and face the wall. Step up to the wall and spread your feet. Why are you in trouble? Because these guys are dicks. Have you taken any drugs or alcohol today? Yeah, I've been drinking. Duh. <laughs> oh, but I have no drug on me or anything. Okay, thank you. That's cool. I don't do drugs. Okay, put that hand up on the wall. So, did the officers come into your house? Yeah. Or? Well, my mother called. Your mother called them? Yeah. Why? Because I didn't um, give her money. Like for rent? Yeah, I usually do. Oh, so she wanted you out of the house. So now what? Um, you're going to go see medical. So if you want to take this row right here, go all the way down to the very last chair. What if I want to use the restroom? After medical, you can use the restroom. Try not to be difficult in here, OK? Because it doesn't work very well for you when you are. I'm not. I just want to know no. what's going on. Good. I'm glad we understand each other. You're going to go get screened by medical. And then if you need to use the restroom, just raise your hand, let us know, and then we'll let you go ahead and do that. So from this point to that point, what? How long is that? Or how long can I if, can I use the phone? In this room, you're not allowed to use the phone yet. I need to know when I can call my attorney. Okay, so I need you to stop talking and listen to me, because how else are you going to get the information? That's what I'm asking you. Okay, go ahead and sit down. We tried. Let's try again. No, no, no. This row. No, no. This row. That very last chair. Sorry that you have that job. I'm sorry too. Keep drinking. Okay, we well, said the last chair, ma'am. So use your listening ears. You brought that female in? I did. The original call was of domestic violence. Um, we show up. Uh, it was, they had an argument between her and her mother. There was no sign of physical altercation, but the mother was claiming that there was a battery that occurred. Um, during our investigation, uh, they got into another verbal argument, at which point she grabbed her mom and started yanking her back and forth right in front of us. So that's when she was placed under arrest. Thanks. No problem. See if we can get some help. I got the guy for hit and run. He's a habitual uh, DUI offender. Okay. This will be his eighth arrest. He's got different stories, so he's going to tell you a bunch of the stories that he was robbed. But he was involved in an accident, hit a uh, family of four in another car. Are they all right? Oh, they're fine. Okay. But uh, he decided to walk away from the whole scene, denying that it was his fault. It's a straight booking for the felony DUI. Let's go take a look. Hey, partner. How are you doing over here? Any better? You're OK. What happened? I was robbed. People Where stole at? my car. Where at? Off of Cheyenne. How many guys? Do you remember how many guys were there? It was two or three. I don't really <clears throat> remember. And next thing I know, I'm in cuffs. OK. What did they say? They said I ran away from the scene of an accident, and I wasn't even driving the car. <laughs> The person that took my car looks similar to me. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. all I know. I thought you said you crawled into a bush and went to sleep, though. It, well, I was, yes, I did. Okay. Because I was tired. And yes, I, that, that's not I, I had been drinking at the time. And so I just just didn't want to cause any more trouble than it was worth. OK. I've well. had past DUIs. Sir, okay. I got a club in the back of the head. I got knocked out. Did you get medical attention for that? Yes, I did. No, it was baseball club. It didn't leave much of a mark. Where'd you get hit at, sir? Back of the head. 
<laughs> it doesn't look like he's had you're any pretty, You're kind of thin back here, but I don't see any knots or anything like that. Oh, well, no, it was... The baseball bat, that's pretty intense, don't it, you think? It was just pretty much of a tap to knock me out. That was it. What's important is that you're safe here, sir, though. Yeah. Am I going to get released today, tomorrow, when? Based on your charges, more than likely, probably tomorrow. And that's standard for everyone. Just be patient. That's the best thing I can do. It's just like the DMV, man, but it's jail. Hey, Tiffany, when you first came in, I didn't really understand what had happened before you came in. Do you right. want to explain to me what the whole story was about your mother or sure. something? Oh, it was just a minor uh, conflict. Was it uh, physical? No, it was verbal. OK. Are you, are you sobering up right now? Yeah. I think you are. You're acting a lot different than when you first came in. I know, I'm sorry. You're very upset. No, I know. I knew you have it in you. I knew that you're a whole <laughs> different person, so I just give you some time. I know, I'm not really an ass. So. We're not either. It's just when you come at us like that, it's hard to work with you a little bit. I know. So. All right, we'll see here a little bit. You're, you've already got your picture taken, so you should be going through the process soon. You can use the phones too, okay? Cool. All right. All right. You do understand what you're being booked for, right? No, I do not. Okay. <laughs> well, you're being booked for DUI felony. Okay. How is that? My How car, is that? My car was stolen. Okay. <laughs> your car wasn't stolen, okay? We yeah. have reason to believe that you were driving. We have witnesses. The keys were in your pocket. I have oh, two right. sets of keys. <laughs> all right. You also are getting charged with driving on a revoked license, uh, failure to report accident to police, duty to stop, um, and report accident to police with no injury and duty to give information and surrender your license. I still deny all these charges. <laughs> okay, well. After I was beat up. After you get out of here, I think you need to, you know, we'll seek a little, a little different help. Am I right? Oh, yeah, we're gonna okay. seek a lawyer. The Eight DUIs name. is enough. Yeah. We're done. Yeah. That's why we're I'm done. done. I You're don't done. Do them. Uh -huh. You're done. All right. Go have a seat where you work. Okay, you got it. <laughs> still denying everything. He knows that we're not buying it, but well, like, again, what does he have to lose? He's just going to keep it going. That's your story and you're sticking to it? This week, a lot of people have been coming in very intoxicated, very angry. Several of the inmates have tried to attack us. The officers, I've been threatened. They've threatened to shoot me. They've threatened to kick me, punch me. They've cursed, cussed me out. We have to resort back to our training, and we want to go home the same way we came into work. I want to. You oh, oh, this is a no swearing zone. Shut up. Oh. What's your first name? I don't have one. You don't have one? I need you to stand up. Oh, stand up. yes, ma'am. Stand right I'm here. I'm standing. Stand right here. Face the wall. Yes. Face the I wall. The wall's right there. That wall right there. Anything sharp on you? Any guns? Weapons? Everything. I have Everything? it all. Okay. I'm going to murder you. Anything underneath the hair? Everything. I need a lawyer right now. Does anyone know? All right. Calm down, Ann. We are in jail. I called you, and I asked for help. Can I explain something to you? Don't you ever explain anything to me. Can I ask you questions? Never. Why not? Are you refusing medical? I'm refusing everything. I want to die. OK, well, then I'll push you on the suicide watch. Now you've said it. Goodbye. Shut the uh, <laughs> you. you too. Do you, hey, Ann, do you know him? And you know something? Is there a You're sergeant? A jerk. Oh, you, you idiot. <laughs> you. Yeah. We are going to You think to she's going to make it out here? <laughs> no, she's not going to make it, so we have to do the chair. Yeah. Okay. Shut up. You're going to put right you back. in that little chair, OK? I want my wallet now. Right now, this female is pretty upset. She's a little intoxicated. She's uh, loud, yelling out front, a uh, little bit confused. So at this point, uh, we wanted to remove her from the area just to keep her by herself, but she stated that she was suicidal, so we can't put her in a room by herself. So at this point, we're going to end up placing her in the restraint chair until she can uh, sober up and we can get her evaluated. Let's turn you around. Very, very angry. 
brought Anna into custody. I did. What happened tonight? Well, we went out there the first time because she was yelling at a neighbor in the middle of the street and uh, challenging her to a fight. A neighbor is about 80 years old on auction, has a walker. So she called us up. We left there and uh, told her and her husband to stay away because they're both extremely drunk. Okay. And uh, she, had, she had called us. So we went back out and found out that uh, in between that time, she had went to her roommate's her and her husband roommate's room and attacked him and accused her him of uh, stealing his stealing her purse. So she went at him, ripped his shirt off, and then went back to her room and called us. Okay, so there's a battery involved. Yeah. So okay. Since they've lived together for four months, it's cohabitants. So it's going to go under a battery domestic violence. Domestic. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Which first came in. Uh, there was a male inmate. He was extremely intoxicated also. He was yelling, screaming at her. She yelled back. So we removed him from the area. His behavior has escalated. We are now removing him from the cell, placing him into the restraint chair. Interestingly enough, she's going to be sitting right next to Daniel. So they're going to actually be in there together under observation. This is off. Don't swear. You'll be all right. Hey, when you came in, why were you yelling at her? Because I was distraught. Where's my hair? <laughs> I hate my feet, my hands. I'm broken up. Hey, officer. What? Tell us girl not to talk to me no more. Shut up. You know what? Don't ask me to marry you again, OK? Please. <laughs> you need to be. Hey, don't talk. I don't want to talk about this, all right? You will shut you, you, I love I love you, sweetie. Are you going to marry me now? I'll marry you whenever I get out of my straps. <laughs> <laughs> if yeah. we get out of our straps together, we may get together. I'll give you a kiss before I leave. Oh, and don't you want to kiss me while I was strapped up? I ain't going to make you happy, bitch, because you know why? I ain't happy myself, all right? That's the way it is. Oh, well. Please. It's actually time for Anne to come out of the chair. So we're gonna have to separate the lovebirds temporarily until they get out of jail. Hey Daniel, Daniel. Yes. what's gonna happen is One, two, three. your up. It's gonna come out the chair and go in there and have a seat and wait for you, okay? Where is my life? Why am I here? It is what it is, honey. Well, this is part of your life right here, what you're going through. I'm gonna find some slippers for you. But for right now, you see the ladies in the back row? Anne calmed down considerably. She's out of the chair now. She's gonna go through with her booking process. She's completely cooperative. She's gonna be okay while she gets processed in. definitely have to be conscious of what you're doing at all times. It's very unpredictable down there. It's part of the reason I like it. We tend to have more problems with the uh, DUIs and drugs. Those are the ones that we have to deal with very quickly before it gets out of hand. Sarge. What's going on here? He wants to still beat up his girlfriend. What? How dare you? Why would I do that? She here? Yeah, she's no, in the back row. That's the one he flipped off. It wasn't no, little guy. It was not, him. Not, not uh, yeah, yeah. I said, you went to jail. How already, much have you been right? drinking just, tonight? Oh, see, I have maybe six beers. Yeah. You don't even have to worry about seeing her. Hey. Oh, no. Seriously? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, man. That's cool. He's trying to provoke his girlfriend. This one? Yeah, this one. I'm learning. I'm learning. I just had this whole conversation with her. Wow. Why I let her beat me up? That's what? That's why I let her. You let her beat you up? Yeah, I let her. I, let her I don't really see any marks on you. No. Nah. Don't feed women alcohol. They'll attack you. He said he was feeding you alcohol. Feeding me alcohol? Yeah. No, I think I fed myself. It was my friend's 24th birthday. What were your charges? What exactly did you get arrested for? They said that I was being arrested for battery, even though I didn't touch him. But I guess he has a mark, and he told them that I. Do you have any yes, marks? Right battery. Here. Wow. Mm -hmm. Tell the story. So yeah, let's Go hear ahead. what happened. I was asleep, or trying to sleep. He wakes me up to yell at me about Facebook. What was 35 year old. Because I tagged one of my friends. Is he hot? Yes. There it is. See, because he's not. <laughs> <laughs> and so he 
had a conniption and ripped this and I get arrested because he broke my mirror just, and a piece yeah, just blew up and cut him so they think that I hurt him. Oh well. I didn't. What's your first name? Alex. Alex, where'd you get all those tats? Um, he did this arm right here. Love bites, that's appropriate. Right? I know, mm -hmm. see? Nice. Yeah. To cut him <laughs> off. Wow. Come on, Joe. Is that a joke? No, he just hold on. See if he's faking this. Is this a joke? Are you faking this? Sure. Somebody's talking to you. Alex, he's never had a seizure? No. He said he I used to, you. but not that I've witnessed, no. Not since I've known him. Justin. Really? Really? <laughs> wow. He can just sit right here all day. Oh, oh, and he just miraculously came out of it. All right, do me a favor and sit here for another hour without getting up, without pretending to have a seizure, uh, and with, okay. yeah, you know, that was. Yeah, okay? Okay, if you see, you're, you're, you're right. I'm Just be quiet. Okay, yes, ma'am. Come on. Come on. What's her name? She's already threatened me. Really? Yeah. Oh, Go ahead really? And spread Did your I? Feet. Go ahead and spread your feet. Don't push against me. I did not push against you. I'm saying, what is, what the Don't. hell? What'd she say to you, boy? She goes, keep it up. Um, like, uh, you know, an open-ended. Are you doing blood? Yes. Whew. Are you going to be cooperative with the blood draw? No. No? We might have to uh, do the restraint chair, force blood draw. Oh, really? Not gonna cooperate? She said she, she wasn't going to cooperate. So I'm going to ask you this question again. We have to take your blood. Are you going to cooperate? Yeah. All right, let's go. Hey, you're so forceful. You're so mean. Mm -hmm. Spicy. Simmer down. You're what? Sim he doesn't have the tubes ready yet. <laughs> Sit down. Has she been like this the whole time in the car? Yeah, very difficult. Where'd you, where'd you she get picked up? I was not. How dare yeah, she you, was sir? In the, uh, she was asleep in, in her pickup, and, uh, and FD, she wouldn't open up the door for officers, so... FD My key was not in the gym. ignition. So she didn't do the field mm -hmm. sobriety test? No, she refused everything. I, I'm not approving of this. I know my rights, and just like So are said, we gonna fight here? Because is no, this gonna turn fighting. into a fight? You don't have to get saucy, Boyer. Feisty and saucy. Saucy. That's pretty good. Mm. I don't think I've ever heard somebody call you saucy. You know what? Hey, oh, I'm she's saucy. <laughs> I was not driving. Don't move. If you flip your head back and hit him, that's a charge too. Okay, but I was not driving, and don't move. You know, don't move. Please don't do that. No, okay, listen to me. About it. Listen to okay. me. If you pull away from him and no, somebody gets jabbed here, promise, that's I another won't. charge. I promise I won't. Are you a bartender? I just don't want to. Yes, I am. Really? Why do you have to be saucy about it? Do you know her? Where do you work? Shh. I've seen you somewhere before. I know. Can we not discuss it right now? I'm not a hooker. I've seen you somewhere before, so I'm oh, trying to figure no, out. You didn't. Trying to oh, figure out where, I see, where I've seen you. I gotta her. work. Oh, she's a dancer? No. Settle yourself down. Um, There's nothing wrong with being a dancer. Come on. Half the girls out there. I know. Make friends with I right saw now. them all looking at me like I was a piece of food. The girls? I don't know. Maybe I am. Sit here and be quiet for a while. I'll be quiet, but what do I have to do? To you have to sit here and be quiet. That's what you have to do to prove that you can behave. Okay? But what if you try to fight me and then... Who's going to fight you? I don't know. Let's None of these see. girls want to fight you because that's another charge. That's a felony charge in jail. Nobody wants a felony charge for you. So let's be quiet for a little while. She was a DUI, so we had to take her in a blood draw room. She went in a little agitated, so we left her in cuffs. And through the process, she seemed to calm down a little bit. So we'll leave her in cuffs, probably another hour. Justin, you feeling a little better? Yeah. Listen to me. When you go out into that open room there, 
your ex-girlfriend's gonna be out there, yeah. don't talk to her. No, no, no. Don't flip her off. I, I, don't I even. Like I already know that she used me and abused me. Okay. So. But don't make eye contact. Uh, don't try and communicate. Over it. Come on, this way. Go ahead and sit down. He seemed to be a little intoxicated when he came in. He's calmed down. I think he's sobered up, and I think he'll do fine now as long as he doesn't try to communicate with her. My job is communication. A lot of times you have people that have been in quite a few times and you've got those first timers that are shy, they're scared, they don't know what to do or make of the whole experience. So it's important to be able to, to be able to talk to them, tell them exactly what's going to happen and then they can understand and do what they're supposed to do. And it just makes everybody's job a lot easier. Are those shorts underneath your shorts or are they underwear? Yeah, they're underwear. Why are you yelling at me like I know? Because, I mean, why are you even cuffing me? I mean, what? Because that's my job. You should thank me because these cuffs are a lot more comfortable than the other cuffs. Okay, well, you know, I don't know what the heck is going on, but, you know, I'm. Maybe don't have a driver's license. Um, you don't need one to get into here. Maybe it's the alcohol, you think? Yeah. See, look how much better that is. Your hands aren't behind okay, your back anymore. I know, but what, so why, you should thank me. Why, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Boom. You don't like me, do you? No, not right now. Okay. Come on, ma'am, come over here. Why don't you take that row all the way down the last chair? Be nicer to the medical staff, though. They can help you more than me. She don't like me. I think she just wants to be left alone. How long have you been drinking for? For what? How long have you been drinking for? I've been drinking a six pack. Six beers and you can't open your eyes? There you go. Using illegal drugs, including marijuana. No. How often do you drink? Every day. Are you going to go through withdrawals? No. Are you done? I'm done with you. Have see. I'm done asking you questions. Where are you going? She's not happy. The female you brought in, what was her story? We went to a report of an occupied stolen vehicle. As I arrived uh, from the north, uh, the driver of this female uh, saw my patrol vehicle, backed up at a high rate of speed, almost hitting the officers on the bicycles. Uh, turned westbound through the complex, got out to Koval, caused a vehicle accident with two other vehicles, and then she rolled northbound back into the apartment complex and, and more or less crashed into the first parking stall. Uh, after about a 15-minute standoff with her, uh, we got air unit and canine and a, and a ballistic shield. Finally, she uh, started listening to verbal commands, exited the vehicle, and we were able to take her into custody. It's a little bit more than just a... <laughs> and and now we come to find out yeah. that, you know, the information she's given us is wrong. Her name and date of birth are wrong. We have a, a good ID number her far, for her finally, as, long as, a, as well as a Social Security number. So what's the black stuff on her face? That, that's from the pavement. Um, she tried to fight the officers uh, when we took her into custody, and, and she kind of lost that battle, so... Wow. All right, guys. All right, hey, thank thanks you. Thanks a lot. Why are you so angry? This is not everybody staring at me like this is some kind of Because you're yelling. Well, everybody's mind their own business and do what the they got to do and let me go. Well, if you'd stop. Because I have not did a mother thing around here. Ma'am, maybe. I'm sick and tired of this Ma'am, maybe if you'd stop yelling, they wouldn't look at you. Just now saying. everyone is looking at you. Great. The last person that did that, they were sorry. Ma'am, settle I down. I apologize. Thank you. Just, just tone it down. We're gonna work through this together. All you do is close your eyes, sit back here, and relax. What are you guys looking at? Nobody's. No one's looking at you. I'm gonna let you uh, try to relax for a little bit, okay? I can't have you freaking out like this. Do you want to tell me what happened when you got brought in? It's all drinking and driving. It's were all right there on my ticket. Were you celebrating tonight? What were you celebrating? Celebrating the victory. Of? Of love. Of love? Yeah. Are you in a relationship? No, I wish I was. Well, that shouldn't be too hard for you, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Perfection. OK, I'm just going to put these back on. 
Oh, relax, my relax. Goodness. I know, it's such a pain. Okay, um, I'm like, why relax, are you putting relax. these handcuffs on me so tight? You know why, ma'am? Because you're why? in jail. Stop fighting me. You're in jail right now. You have to have these on you. Now, do you oh, want your... Lord Jesus Christ. Do you want your hands behind your back and head? No, I don't understand side? why... Why are you yelling at me? I'm right here. Am I yelling at you? No. So that's not very nice, is it? Be nice. I'm trying to be nice. I can see you're trying to, but you try a little harder for me. I have not come at you at all. Okay. All right. I understand. Okay. Now, are you feeling a little bit better since you got brought yes, in? Yes, I am. Okay. I don't think... You're not... Huh? I don't know. It's something about you and alcohol. It's not you. I know. I'm just tired. I'm ready to go. Why don't you just go have a seat in the back row? Look how angry she is. Seat right here in the front row, okay? Okay, let's go into the next room. All right, go ahead and place your back up against the wall right here. This is what I got for you, okay? This is a copy of your charges. Okay. Being charged with grand larceny auto, possession of a stolen vehicle, and falling simple to a PO. Uh -huh. All right, there's your bell right here, 3,000, 3,200. Have a seat in the second row with the other girls. Okay. Listen for your name to be called, okay. okay? Try to be cool in here, though, okay? Because you're halfway through the process now. You don't want to end up in a cell. Okay. All right, go ahead and have a seat. Good luck to you. Wow. She uh, calmed down, though. Definitely. I hope she stays calm down because they're not going to tolerate what she was doing out there. No, not at all. There's a lot of excitement in here. There's a lot of things going on that uh, are very unpredictable. Some of my favorite uh, people to talk to are the people that... Uh, really haven't ever committed a crime in their lives, and it's their first time in here. And uh, communicating with them and helping them out to know what the process is, it makes uh, for a better place for everyone, really. Got into a fight? Who did you get into a fight with? Oh, the guy over there. Who did you guys get into a fight about? Oh, my mom. So what happened with your mom? He got upset that I was drinking, and he's been kissing her ass, and she stuck up for him. So it just went back and forth? Yeah. Sounds like a nice little family gathering. Oh, OK, right this way. I'm going to go down this aisle, all the way down. One coming your way, Katrina. I'm just going to have you sit right here until she's done, and then go from there. Mom staying with you guys, or she was. She took off running scared. That started crying, and they brought me in on a domestic. And they're saying that I beat her up. Is this your wife or your girlfriend? Or... My ex we broke up days ago, yesterday. Oh, okay. But we've been cool. Okay. We've been to another room in the house, and it's all been fine. Leave it alone. Okay. Causing no problems. I was in the bedroom with the dogs. Please don't cause trouble in here. Thanks a lot. He's lying. She was singing karaoke, and he got mad because he didn't like it, and he punched her in the face. So I arrested him for domestic violence, and she became agitated and attacked me. She's obviously drunk or high. We put her in cuffs. I put her in the back of the car. She pulls out of the cuffs, slips out of the cuffs, tries to escape the car. She's kicking the other officer. She's trying to bite us. I got her blood all over me. Wow. And, um, and then we brought her here. Now she's apologetic. She's, uh, you know, she's good to go now. Thanks a lot. Do you drink? You drink? I drink. I take pills. I shoot up. I take car. I do everything. It's all my fault. I put myself here because of that Where, Wherever he went. Oh, there he is. Oh, there's the Hey, 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 hey. hate him. Put his hands on my face. Rotten hell, bitch. No, you want a pair of these? Please don't add to it. I understand that you're angry because he hit you. Yeah. You love him. I know you do. No. Well, you said you had been drinking earlier, so, you yeah. know. And took some Xanax on top of it. Oh, so Xanax on top of alcohol. It's a nice combination. Yeah. Um, we're going to get you through the process as best we can, OK? Yeah. And you cooperating helps us get you through the process a little bit quicker, OK? Thanks a lot. So what happened? I have been drinking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I told him probably six drinks mm -hmm. since about 9.30. Basically, me and my wife went to breakfast this morning. We had a couple drinks. She went home. I went to another bar. I had a couple drinks there. Anyway, I think the speed limit's like 35, and the guy said I was going 55, which 
maybe. I don't know. I rarely speed, but whatever. How'd you do on the uh, field sobriety test? Field sobriety test? test uh, probably not so good. And um, he handcuffs me, sits me on the curb, asks me who could pick me up. I said, well, it's my wife. So he calls her up. And next thing I know, we're both handcuffed. But she would never got pulled over if the officer didn't call her and say, come down and get your husband. It's our policy to contact the registered owner. And she just so happens to be the registered owner of that vehicle. Uh, when the officer called her, you know, he made sure that she wasn't under the influence. But unfortunately, she was too much over the limit. Probably a little guilty, but I thought it was still really OK. Yeah. Four mm -hmm. hours of sleep. How about the efficiency, at least? You guys got to ride down here together right. in the same car, right? We did. Okay. Yeah, so hopefully you guys will drop us off to get our car, both our cars out of impact at the same time. That would be great. You know what? You're not a bad person. I'm not. Your wife's I'm not a bad not. person. I'm we all make bad choices, sir. Everybody we all makes do. bad decisions. We all do. Right? That's all. You just chalk it up as one of those, and life goes on. <laughs> at least you have the right intention. Oh, wow. What happened that got you in this chair? I you tried were... getting out of the cuffs because they've been cutting my arms. Yeah, you can't do that. No, yeah. no, you guys can't put them on so tight. They weren't on so tight. Yeah, they you were, were on able tight. To, That's you why were I able took to them slip off. them off. Oh, yeah. So they weren't you know what? that you tight. You guys are just downright rude. Who needs something I got right slapped now? across the face, and I'm the one that's tied down to the chair, and he's in a cozy room. What the f is up with that? He's not in a cozy room. Well, what is this? What is this? I didn't do nothing wrong. Are we going to be able to get you out of that chair? Yeah. Going home so, time yes, by your Yes, yes, I'm not going to do anything. I just need to pee. They got that black woman over there walking there laughing at me all. Oh, listen, that's exactly what's going to keep you in there. See, all those threats yeah. that you've been making and all the, the potty mouth no, stuff that you've been talking, well, you should listen for a minute. She's snickering. Okay. Oh, he, you're going to be in here for a while. Well, she's busy over there flirting with that dude. Okay, what do you want to do? I want to go home. Okay, so how are you going to do that? I'm going to walk. How? My feet. How are you going to get out of here? cooperating and yes. listening now, right? She's just belligerent. She's not even hearing anything. She's just continuing to argue. Let her cool down for a while. Nothing's going to make her happy. Yeah. So what do you think of this chair? <laughs> I call this chair a time of reflection. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. Do you think that it's yeah, appropriate? It, it reminds me Notice of... Notice the believer chair. It reminds me of every muscle that I have. Oh, <laughs> right on. We're going to push you forward to stand up, okay? So we're going to help you. Ready? Okay. All right, we're going to take the cuffs off. Come on over here and have a seat. So, you know, you're officially in the system now, but you're only in here for obstruction. I was just having a really bad day. One thing I should know by now is don't drink if you're in a bad mood. Well, I'm going to tell you one thing. Some people have their professions. Yours is not being a very good drunk, okay? <laughs> You're not good at it. You gotta be able to maintain your cool. Better, I like you like this, though. I'm a better singer. <laughs> there you go, that's it. All right, good luck to you. subject I'm really passionate about is the public's perception of our behavior. We are trained to recognize and deal with subtle behaviors, specifically people who initially we perceive not to respect uh, authority. We have to really check that quickly so the situation doesn't get out of control, and that's something that we would like the public to know about. <laughs> Stay right here. Yeah. Put your other hand on there. Put your hands right there so you don't fall. I gotta take a piss, man. Okay. You gotta do one thing at a time. I gotta take a... Yeah, I caught that. Okay. Come on, buddy. I'll lay down some place. Some wax. Piss, man. You got all we got? Yep. Come on. We're gonna take these chains and stuff off here, okay? You take your shoes take off. Your shoes off. Sergeant Sidzik, what do we have there? This guy came from pre-arrest, extremely intoxicated, throwing his weight around. Um, he's so drunk, for safety reasons, I took the chains off, but um, he needs to sleep it off. Yeah, he'll be all right. We'll keep an eye on. I'm gonna be out in 72 hours, right? Because his son's I don't know. 
Oh, yeah. It depends on your behavior. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you something about my behavior. What's your behavior? You look terrible. Thank you. You're a CEO. You can't even be a cop. You can't be cops. So you, and first of all, I hate women, firemen, and cops. Because you can't carry 180 pounds. I like firemen. I, I like firemen, not firewomen. Um, what brings you to jail today? The lady I'm living with that I paid the rent called up. Mm. All right, elbows up, sir. Elbows, oh, up. elbows up. Let me tell you something. My hands are about to clip. Well, we're going to try and take well, these gloves off. Hot feet, I believe, to tell you the truth. Stay facing the wall. Excuse me, Come sir. Come on. I've been voting since I'm 18. Good. I'll be walking out in two days. Yeah, Stay TV's facing the wall. Really... Oh, Excuse me, I'm from Alaska. We don't put up with this. Oh, man. Oh, I'm going to break my arms down. Stop. Just right stay up. facing the wall. Excuse me, but you don't have to lift stay them that high. Stay facing the wall. You don't have to lift them that high, right? Oh, oh. Your actions dictate our actions. Oh, freedom of so. speech is still freedom of speech. Not in you here. You are hurting my arm. All right, arm. let's go. Dude, can somebody lift my lower arm go down, please? Can you cooperate? Yeah, I'm working on it. I want you to eat yes or no. Yes. All right, stand this way. Stay standing. Be real still. Real still, man. I'm having a little problem here. I'm a little stressed out here right now. Are you allergic to anything? Yeah, probably. You feel like you want to hurt yourself? Suicide? Yeah. Uh, what, what was suicide giving me? Like a free room Keep your or not? Arms still. So if you, Do if you I, feel if I suicidal, say I got suicidal yes things, no. you're gonna put me in my own room. There's right? no in between. It's a yes or no answer. Oh, let me explain something. I'm not answering. And okay. so you're suicidal. So you're suicidal. Basically. You gotta take my clothes off now, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not suicidal. How'd you come in contact with John there? Uh, we got a call for battery domestic violence. And we, when we, upon arrival, contacted the victim. We said that John was in the back room and he was extremely intoxicated. Me and my partner, when we entered the room, he tried to push us out of the room. At that time, me and my partner would grab him and put him in handcuffs and walked him out to a car where he followed us the whole way. All right, well, thanks. All right. If you want to take a look at my leg, you're a nurse, right? We done? Well, she's yeah. a nurse, right? Come on. Well, what about my leg? Come on. No, let's go. What about Let my go leg? Of... Let's go, Mr. Oh, here we go with the busted wrist again. Oh, see. All you. right. Walk normally, sir. Can I hold my pants up, please? Walking only when you lock me up. Well, where am I going? Right here. All right, if you step on in, please. Right? Right against the wall. Face the wall. All right, spread your feet, John. Stay right there. Yeah, stay right there, John. Well, Don't move. Where are you going so far? Stay right there. I'll tell you when to move. The blood's coming yeah. back. Yeah, what are you doing when you were All right, keep moving. He's just obviously intoxicated. He's John. bombed. Yeah, he's bombed. He's bombed. <laughs> Okay, listen, we're going to be contact right here right now. Hey, sit down. Hey, sit down. That's a good idea, wouldn't you say? Go face the wall. Face the wall right face there. Face the wall. I just got my damn pants over here. Yeah, bastard. I just Yeah, we'll give you the swing. This one's all you. All you. All you, John. I got to say, it was 72 hours, so you let me out, right? For a little while, at least. What's the deal with that other guy? All right, so sometimes uh, two different alcohols don't mix. Sometimes. Sometimes. You are right, sir. John! Yes? Don't uh, wake up, partner. My boss is here to talk to you. Oh, good. John, sit up for me, please. Excuse me, I'm sitting up, right? Do you remember what happened earlier? Yeah, well, the woman I lived with called you guys because I was drinking uh, vodka in my bedroom. Okay. And so, I actually kind of wonder why you have me here. I need to evaluate you to see how stable you are to get through this process. I, should, you... I should be home. I should be eating my burritos I just made. Okay. All right, we'll come back and talk to you, John. Uh, excuse me, sir, but I have not committed a crime here. I'm standing in my own apartment, cooking a burrito. The woman I live with is pissed off at me for something I did not do. There's no violence or nothing. And here I am locked up. What am I getting in charge with? Well, that, you know what, to be honest with you, I don't know. We're going to have to take a look at your charges. Oh, you, you acted up. You know, I didn't act up. I just wouldn't let the police come in my house. I'm in my bedroom. No, no, I'm, I'm talking about when you came into the county jail. You had no right to lock me up. All right, you, you can feel that way, all right? Well, I can definitely prove it. Okay. So I'm going to be stuck there sitting on my dead ass till you get a 
education, right? All right. Good. Yeah, so I'll be down there. You're sending me the white stuff. 72 hours? All right, John, thanks. Yeah, you, John. All right. Your mother. Based on my interview, I've concluded that he's not suitable for general population, yeah, he seems a little angry still. Very angry. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my needs. I don't wanna 